Yeah, you're all invited to Toulouse next spring. We're going to have a publishing party. Did we see that too? Yeah, maybe. So, um, Kathleen mentioned, I, I was thinking today that the, the first birthday events for Delay were done by the Warren Park. And some strange, we did one up on top of Mount Daddy. It was cold. <laughs> Then we did we did it in back of the library in the amphitheater. Again, it was cold, so it's nice to be in a nice warm room with the sun coming in. And people who don't look like they want to be really crazy. Um, so this is um, the first sonnet in Epitaph: The Lyricist Man. Before this cooling planet shall be cold, long, long before the music of the lyre. Like the faint roar of distant breakers rolled on reefs unseen, when wind and flood conspire to drive the ship inshore. Long, long, I say, before this ominous humming hits the ear, earth will have come upon stiller day. Man and his engines no longer be here. High on his naked rock, the mountain sheep will stand alone against the final sky. Drinking a wind of danger, new and deep, staring on Vega with a piercing eye, and gather up his slender hooves and leap from crag to crag down chaos, and so go by. And I want to celebrate a contemporary Maine woman poet uh, um, who has written over it several thousand sonnets that I know of, uh, Susan Cook, and she's here today with her Ukrainian family. Uh, and, uh, this is a song of hers called The Migratory Birds. Migratory birds came into their full importance soon after the garden bloomed. Pollinating nectar was essential for the lushness, trees, fruits, the birds consumed that sweetness to live Knowledge without words, their small contribution. Love is like that too. Love is quiet and goes about the day, a migratory bird in flight telling all and nothing. A bird in love with no words to say. Flies triumphantly north to south, east to west. Birds above us all, communicating silently. There are lovers who don't need to say Words, migratory words to their world. 